what is it that makes a champion? Is it something one is born with or something one can attain? Is it a willingness to go beyond the expected, to dedicate oneself wholeheartedly to an ideal? Or is it a single step followed by another and yet another in a journey few are willing to take? A true champion is one who goes out of his way to make a difference to others. Becoming a champion is a choice we each face, not unlike the choice of young Napoleon Zombe as he set out on a journey that would influence the lives of so many along the way. Napoleon, Tembo, you two should be reading your assignments. I've already finished, sir. Napoleon, you look troubled. Well, I was thinking. Some of the fields grow tall, while others remain lifeless. Isn't the ground the same? The ground might be the same, Napoleon, but much depends on the hands that prepare it, how much they are willing to work. But why wouldn't you be willing if it brings such good? Well, you see, Napoleon, the ground can be very difficult at times and requires great effort to work it, just like the effort you take to come to school each day. Not everyone is willing to go so far. You have to take care of the crops, watch over them, stay with them all the way until the harvest. The Creator gives us material to work with, Napoleon. But it's up to each person to choose how he will mold it. Okay. Now, why don't you go and start helping others? The success of one's journey often depends on determination, faith, and a willingness to take each step that needs to be taken. Napoleon's only advantage in life was that he had no advantage. Nothing came without great effort, especially his education. It grew from the learning he gained in the classroom combined with his daily 24-mile round trip to and from school. It was here that he heard the cries of despair. It was here that he saw his people suffer. It was here that his purpose became clear. And it was here that his mind and heart ultimately became one. Yes, Napoleon. May I help you? I'm leaving school, sir. But Napoleon, you're one of my best students. I know you're disappointed, sir. But this I must do. I've learned much already. I cannot attend school any longer while my family struggle to survive, sir. But you have two years to complete your schooling. Think of where you might go. I will go where I'm needed, sir. Which is what I must do now. Zikomo, for all you've taught me. Talani Green. In my mind, it seemed such a mistake. But in my heart, I knew it was the step he must take. With nothing but a warm heart and an iron will, Napoleon set out to help his family. His first step was to convince his father he could exchange one of their cows for the possibility of a better life. The small amount he received for the cow was traded for salt. By dividing the salt, he was able to trade farmers for their peanuts, which in turn, he sold for a profit. The proceeds were soon reinvested into enough maize seed and fertilizer 
to plant several acres in a borrowed field. Oh, Tembo. Phew, I'm so glad you're here. Please help me lift this. You quit school for this to be a poor farmer. Didn't you learn anything? People have to eat, Tembo. Which means there are great opportunities here. I just want to come with new ideas, you know, ideas that should improve my harvest and maybe my income. Napoleon, always been the dreamer. But don't forget, you're not better than the rest of us. Of course I'm not. But I've been thinking, you know, the material is right here. It's as good as other prosperous areas. But you know what's the difference? We don't have anyone to lead us. But where there's a will, there's a way, my friend. Napoleon, you're just one person. Who's going to listen to you? Our people haven't changed in over a thousand years. I think it's about time they move on then, don't you think? Fine, do what you want. Just know that people are talking about you and these big plans for the future. People can think what they want. In my heart, I know I can help. At least on a small scale. Somebody's got to do something. Good luck then, my friend. You too, Tembo. Napoleon never returned to school. However, his education didn't end there. He questioned everything. How can I water when there is no rain? How can I increase my harvest? How can I improve our conditions? Year after year, he faced the many setbacks with faith and determination. And through it all, he was blessed with prosperity. As business expanded from crops to trucks, and from trucks to woodwork, and then lumber, he employed as many of his people as he could. Seeing a great need for medical care and supplies in the villages, and having his own lumber, he decided to build a rural hospital. He fittingly called it Blessings. But of all sickness and disease that plagues Malawi, the one plague the hospital could not treat was hunger. The drought of 2001 and 2 was the worst in decades. Thousands fought for their lives. 